Yes, people, what is happening? It's AGT from the Midweek Mix Show on Westside FM. We're here at Wireless Festival 2016. Fergie is currently on stage now, and we're going to be trying to talk to the guys as they come on and off stage. We're backstage. Let's go and have a look and see what we can find. <laughs> Yes, 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 midweek mix, West Side FM. I'm with Mr. Boo Boo Bang. What's happening? What's happening? Looking like straight money out here. Come on. <laughs> you might be in camouflage, but we still see him shining. How are you? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm a bit tired, but we're good. Yeah. We just shut down wireless. It was crazy, man. I was there when you performed, and you said it was the best crowd you've ever had. Do you know why? Because everyone was active. And like when you do certain shows, sometimes like you get that, like, you get like a few people hanging around. Yeah. Everyone was involved, do you know what I mean? And that's why that show was sick today, man. Do you know what I mean? It was almost getting a bit violent in there. There was too many booba bangs going. Yeah. Getting, man, the mosh pits were crazy, man. Yeah. I, I see girls like getting carried out of the front and that. Like, it was like proper mad, do you know what I mean? Crazy. Listen, I interviewed you in 2014 and we were going on about how great your year has been and when El Clasico was coming out. <laughs> it's now 2016. Where is it? Why have you done this to us? Let me be honest with everyone, yeah? That's why I dropped Bandy and Coke. You ain't me keeping an eye. I have. Yeah. I'm going to ask you about that next. I dropped Bandy and Coke, yeah, because I knew I was taking a bit long. So, But what happened was, I've been on the road, bro. I literally, like, for some reason, my life shows so powerful that I'm just out. Yeah. That people are like bidding for shows. And I'm, I'm on that day and they're putting them up. It's just crazy, do you know what I mean? So, but it's, it's almost done. And I feel, like, I feel like now I can take and be out in the next nine months. I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I've done my circle. My yeah. first time doing wireless as well got that out of the way, I thought it was time to get in the studio and get it done, do you know what I mean? So your show, the Fecky show, as it's called, Jay Knox was on deck, completely shut down. Do you think it's because of your energy that you give to the crowd that they give it back to you? 100%, like, me and the crowd, like, we, I don't know, like, this is something happens, man. It's mad because like, even, to, even today, like, if you look at the set, there's times I was just looking away from everyone because I could just feel the energy and I was just confident to do what I wanted on the stage, you know what I mean? Like, I love it, man. I love, like, the live for me is, I feel like, it's my perfect lane, do you know what I mean? I just feel like when I, my songs, I, I, I can project them well when I, when I do it live, do you know what I mean? I think with you, it doesn't even matter what song it is. They're just ready to, ready to explode anyway. They want it, man. So Brandy and Coke was what we were talking about earlier. That came out last year. Yeah. How do you think that went? Great album, some big songs on there. B.O.T.B., Massive, Macarena, great live show songs. I think Macarena was... I think, to me personally, I think Macarena is a sick body of work. But I feel like I rushed it out. I feel like it came out of nowhere. And like, I, sh I put out like five videos in one go. Like, Macarena's got like over a million hits. Like, even Bitch at the Bed, like, I've had a lot of like, US attention trying to do the remix, do you know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like I've got what I wanted. I've got like more songs in my set, do you know what I mean? But I feel like if I would have done it again, I would have just eased it out a bit. Because now he was like, where's the new music? Yeah, but yeah. I just dropped like, 13 songs out of nowhere, yeah. do you know what I mean? But it's how it goes, man. Fans are impatient though, they see one thing, a big EP that comes out and then you go away for two months and they're like, when's your next? It's like, come on, I've just released a mixtape. It's good though, it's demand. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, at the same time, it keeps you on your toes. It's very easy to get complacent, do you know what I mean? So it keeps you on your toes, man. Definitely does. Now on stage, you were handing out a few booba bang sliders. Yeah. Where can we buy them? Am I going to get a pair? And, ah, uh, cool. And uh, how much are they? Where can we find them? Uh, yeah, so you can get them on www.bubblebang.co.uk. They're only 15 quid, 15 quid, come on. It's not a lot, it's not a lot. So, yeah, and the quality, man. Do you know what it is? Like, we've done like a thousand in like a couple of days. We've, like, we've done a trial run, and it's like now we've got lots of pre orders and stuff. So, we're going like, to expand the brand. There's been a lot of people hollering at me to try and get involved, but I feel like we're going to keep it to ourselves and expand the brand. So, I think it's going to be around for a long time, like the Bubble Bang brand in general, like with the shop and everything. Do you know what I mean? Booboo Bang brand is strong. Branding is something that you have to have these days to stay relevant and stay above the water. Like I've been running around for years, yeah, on the biggest of stages, saying Booboo Bang, and everyone, say, everyone knows it. Yeah. And I haven't really actually given someone, people, things to like enjoy yeah. it with, do you know what I mean? So I feel like now, people feel part of the movement, do you know what I mean? Which is good. Coming up this summer, the Intent film. Tell us your sort of collaboration with that film. Um, my first actual role, like, I'm in two films this summer. Yeah. I'm in The Brotherhood and I'm in Intent. But I had a lot, they're both sick films, 
but I had a lot of time, good times shooting um, Intent because it had like, I feel, I'm literally through the movie, acting, do you know what I mean? So for me, that's another thing that is just showing the expansion, do you know what I mean? And like where we're actually taking it to, do you know what I mean? So look out for it, it's going to be sick. Like it's the sick, one of the sickest, sickest, it's like, it's like Top Boy and steroids, do you know what I mean? It's sick, so yeah, look out for it. I will do. Shout out to Stormzy as well, who's in the film. Yeah, Stormzy's sick, man. You heard it her first. Fecky's going to get an Oscar next year for being in the intent. We're getting everything, man. All it. Uh, who else you want to see today? I'm going to go and check out Fogger. And obviously, Boy Better Know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Special appearance you coming up? tell you the truth, I haven't really seen everyone that's on. I've been so busy, but I'm going I'm to have a look at the list in a minute and work out who's there and see who I'm going to see. Amazing. Listen, thank you so much. Mr. Boo Boo Bang, Fecky, Westside TV, take care, sir.